Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to install Node.js and run it on Windows. Also, it's the, basically the same thing for Mac. So if you are a Mac user, just follow these steps. It's basically the same. Okay, so let's go to nodejs.org and you should land on this page right here. Now from here, you can download Node.js. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Node.js is a free and open source so cross-platform software. It helps you run JavaScript and it lets you develop and create servers, web application, command line tools, no package management tools, a lot of stuff. Now, not only that you're going to install Node.js, you're also going to install NPM because the latest version of Node.js comes with NPM, the package manager already in it. Also, Node.js is for front-end and back-end developers. So it doesn't matter if you're going to work with React in the front-end or in the back-end, or you're just going to develop in Vue.js or in Angular or just regular websites with HTML CSS and JavaScript, you will need Node.js at some point in the future. So install Node.js. So let's go ahead. Let's download here. Click on download. I'm going to go to downloads. Oh, that here. Uh, downloads. Okay, we just downloaded it. Let's wait for it for do to download. Something like this should open up. I hope this is large enough for you to see. Just click on next, then accept. Click this little accept. Uh, check this little accept box here and next again now choose where to install it i would suggest you just install it into program files on a mac it's a bit different just do a regular installation now right here you have a couple of options i would suggest to just click next install everything just click next oops uh next and automatically install the necessary tools note that this will also install chocolatey chocolatey uh, the script will pop up in the newest windows after installing installation complete. So I would suggest that you also install this one. Now, so NPM modules need to need to be compiled from C to and C++ when installing. So just click here next, but also click on automatically install. Okay, let's install and we should be depending on your PC. Of course, mine's getting a bit old. I need to reinstall it. So this should take just a couple of seconds and you should be good to go. Then click finish and you should have so just installed. Also, this little command prompt should pop up. Just hit enter, press enter, enter again with a couple of seconds. Then a blue screen should pop up. This should also take just a couple of seconds. I'm just going to skip to the end of the installation process and going to pick it up from there and continue with, uh, with the video. Okay, so the process is done. Now, what we can do is run a quick check if we do have the newest version up today. So please check the version that is here should be the version that is on your machine. So you can do the following. Go to your start bar and then type in here on Windows that is CMD. Okay, that's going to bring up the command line, the command prompt. Now you can type in here node space dash and lowercase v, hit enter, and you should see version 20.11.1, which is basically the same version that we have done here. If you're watching this in the future, that is another version. Congratulations, you have a newer version. If you want to check NPM, if you also have NPM installed, type in NPM dash V, so space dash V, that is hit enter, and you should have the version 10.2.4. So congratulations, you just have installed Node.js and NPM. If you liked this video, give the thumbs up, share it with others, also, if you want to become a web developer, you want more videos like this, then subscribe to the channel. This being said, happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.